Alright, let's go get that bread. Whatever they have for us. about in the forest. There's a light. I don't think there's anything up here. No. You can go that way. Hmm. Why don't you start Lebkachin? I am not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can stand there looking at me all you want. He's a rather sweet lass, I must say. Lepkachin? I know you, Elise. She's my cousin. There's nothing more to it. Oh, could you say that again? She's, um... you know... No, I don't know, Elise. That's why I'm asking. Now that we got that out of the way, won't you tell me who she is? She says she's a traveler. I found her hiding in my granary on Saturday. Traveler? I'm not convinced either, Leb, but I felt sorry for this poor lass. She says she'll be leaving right after the festival, so it's only temporary. What has she come here to do? She won't tell me much herself. I had no intention of bringing her to Kieferberg, but she... graced us with her presence, I suppose. I had to think of something right there and then. At least. I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but... I understand, Elise. Oh, Leb. I also understand what you're telling me is a half-truth at best. Here's your bread. You let me know if you need more, won't you? Yeah. I trust you all the same, Elise. You don't have to help me, Leb. You know that. Hey, here I am. Look at me, Elise. I do trust you. I need you to know that. Alright. They have trouble now. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, I do need a bread. Or two. Anything about in town at night? You just have dinner? Yeah, there's people around. On your way home, Elise? Wait, late, I'm aware. Our fellows are out in patrol for a reason, lass. I'm still not certain it's for a good reason, if I'm honest. Me too, Mr. Gustav. I must say, I don't quite see the use for it. Gustav here just doesn't want to make the rounds, I think. I'd say getting a good night's sleep would do us all better, is all. Old Jockin's preaching does more harm than good. He could be right for all we know. 
I struggle to fear something I haven't seen yet, Wilhelm. Truly, there is no such thing as a witch. My only comfort is knowing it'll keep Freya well rested. You too, Elise. You and your cousin can sleep comfortably tonight. My, you'll get another earful staying in town till this late, Elise. Isn't it quite late for you too, Miss Merkchild? Oh dearie, mornings were never my favorite. Her grandmother shared the sentiment, didn't she? She did take her time going to bed, that's true. Old Hull truly was full of surprises and secrets. Secrets, Miss Merkchild? Why, yes, Gretel and I were always wondering what was on her mind. She was quite withdrawn at times, you see. I suppose she was, yes. Gretel was the only one she'd confide in. Lipkitchen's granny does talk about her a great deal, that's for certain. You can't take old Jockin's foolery to heart, Elise. You lasses are different from when I was your age, and that's the way it ought to be. Maybe your elders weren't as narrow-minded, Miss Marchild. Oh, you wouldn't know, dearie. Oh? Ah, another gold. There goes my sanity. Oh, last. I think I would be surrounded by demons on my deathbed. Your deathbed? That fateful evening, I was taken to his dwelling under the pretense of glory. What do you mean? His blessing, his blissful word. You don't believe any of it. Oh. Ow. Uh, at least you gave me an oil. I think I looked everywhere. I don't know there's the back streets I forgot. Thinking that the house is all burned down? Or updated? <laughs> ah, I'll get my sandies. At a way better place for because of that.
Let's go check the mill on the way back. Nothing. Wait. Stairs. Dinner time. Elise. Ah, there you are, Elise. It's quite late, isn't it? Hear me the earful, Rosemarine. What's there to sweep out here after nightfall, anyhow? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was keeping myself busy until you came home, is all. And Flock here was amusing himself chasing after the broom. Where are you, Flock? What's for supper, then? Yes. Oh, I made grape soup. You? I figured we could both use something hearty. We have eggs! What about the eggs? I cooked those, too. I thought we could toast some of yesterday's bread to have with them. Oh, thank goodness. Did I do something wrong? Eggy toast ought to be enough for today, I suppose. Let's head inside, Rosemarine. What? It's nothing. <laughs> At least wait. It's tastier than it looks, isn't it? Could have been worse, that's for certain. Anything tastes good when you're hungry, I find. I suppose today went well, all things considered. I best keep an eye on her, lest those folks. Hey, Elise, I've been meaning to ask you something. Hmm? Those shoes you found this morning. What about them? You still haven't told me much about them. I've seen them before in my dreams a long time ago. In your dreams? Elise. Is there something you're not telling me? I don't know where to start, Rosemarine. I've been avoiding thinking about it, but this morning in Kieferbury, I... It's fate. Our fates, Elise, they're finally starting to align. Huh? Oh, never mind. I saw an old hag, Rosemarine. He told me about this patron saint in the woods. That he granted folks wishes if they bring him gifts. Well, it's true after all. You've heard about all this before? <laughs> carry on, carry on! You said I must bring him three gifts. The tender flesh, sweetest nectar, and good company. Oh, well, Elise, that's wonderful. What else did she say? Did she mention your fate? For goodness sake, Rosemarine. You're scaring me with all this nonsense. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. How do you know about all this? An old folktale my granny used to tell me. A folktale? Carry on now, what else did she say? She mentioned finding a dwelling in the woods. And he will grant my wishes if I bring him three gifts made from these testaments. You told her your wish, didn't you? I did, but it's nothing out of the ordinary, it's... Don't tell me. Huh? You can't tell other folks about your wish, Elise. Rose Marine, you have to tell me what's going on. All I know is what my granny told me, but... I can tell you all about it, Elise. I can help you. Where's Marine? I... I need to think about this. I'll be here tidying up. You can ask me anything you'd like. Alright.
Where's Marine? You don't have to look so frightened, Gillies. This is all very overwhelming, is all. Oh, Elise, isn't fate such a wonderful thing? Enough of that, Rosemarine. What are these testaments and gifts? Ah, of course. In order to meet him, you're going to have to gather the testaments to your resolve. These are tools and ingredients you have to use when crafting the gifts. It's common courtesy to bring your host nice gifts when visiting, isn't it? Huh? Ah, there's also the trials, but I can tell you all about his folktale later. Alright then, for now, I want to know... Good company's pretty easy, I think. It's not as though I don't have an idea, but I don't quite like it. It represents your vitality, at least, your essence. You don't mean... All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Part of my mortal body, huh? I know what you're thinking, Elise. That could be it if that's what you're inclined to bring him, but... What is it, Rosemarine? These are meant as proof of your resolve, first and foremost. It's your determination that's most important, Elise. Huh? Rosemarine? I don't quite like the sound of it, but... Oh, you're the one making it sound bad, Elise. The tender flesh represents your body, the vessel for your soul, so to speak. A representation of my own flesh, then. All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Huh? It's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. It can be a nail clipping or a strand of hair. What's important is the connection between you and the symbolic vessel. A symbolic vessel? A marine? What is the good company? I don't know what to think of this one. You should meet him when your soul is at its most vulnerable, Elise. At its most vulnerable? Granny used to say good company brings one's innermost self to light. One's true face, in other words. Was Marine, I'm not sure I understand. Why, it's love, Elise. Love. Love reveals all, wouldn't you say? I suppose. I need time to think. I still can't wrap my head around this nonsense, Rosemarine. That's alright, Elise. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I think I need a moment. Bringing him gifts made of testaments. I'm supposed to find these somewhere, but where? Anything else? Elise, what is it, Rosemarine? I still haven't told you much about myself, but... I'll be outside in, in the granary if you want to talk more. I'll think about it, Rosemarine. Hmm... by the greenery. I knew you'd come about, Elise. You seem to know everything, don't you? Not at all, but feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Alright, well... Who's he? You said your granny used to tell you this folktale. He's a patron saint, Elise. He grants folks wishes for a heavy price. Heavy price, huh? He whose name has been lost to time is a benevolent entity. It's said he can grant folks wishes if they show him their resolve. Firstly, you ought to acknowledge his invitation to meet him. Shoes, I suppose. 
That's the only explanation. If you do, he will then welcome you to his trials. Trials? If you do clear them and show him your resolve by doing so, he will give you a testament. Alright. You will then have to use the testaments to craft him gifts. Then go out into the woods, gifts in hand, on the night of the full moon to summon him. Sounds an awful lot like a cautionary tale. Oh, but we're now finding out it's more than that, aren't we? I suppose. I have to find out for myself whether that's true or not. Alright, well... You haven't told me enough about yourself. Well, how to say... I'm a strong believer in fate, Elise. Fate, you say? I've dreamed about you, about Kieferberg, your home, your shoes. Ever since I was born, I've known my fate was with you, Elise. I don't understand, Rosemarine. Those dreams were premonitions, I'm certain. You stopped the night I reached Kieferberg, which can only mean that... that I'm currently living out my own fate by your side, Elise. I find that very difficult to believe, Rosemarine. I know it all sounds very strange, but... My granny taught me everything I know, you see. About nature, about the cosmos, faith, and about the woodland. The woodland, you say? You told me all sorts of tales from the past. About our community, about its origins, and our patroness, Walpurga. Rosemarine, that's rather... Isn't it such a coincidence both our patronesses have the same name? And it has to be Fate Elise. Ah, I'm not too sure about that. You see, some things had yet to make sense to me until recently. I didn't understand my own dreams for a long time. Or why I could sense, see, and feel things unspoken. I was Marine. Why folks called us foul names, or why Granny preferred to sleep under the stars most nights. Yet it all fell into place, Elise. As she told me it would. It will guide you if you let it. All you have to do is trust her instincts. I suppose. Okay, let's see what the night area is like. This time. Last time I used all of my matches. Firefly. Oh, those light up things are fireflies. Gifts, huh? I'd best go to bed. I'll make sense of this tomorrow. Hmm? I can't sleep. I can't stop thinking about all this nonsense. Everything that old hag told me about the testaments, the gifts, about him. What Rosemarine told me, too. I find it hard to believe, but maybe... Maybe it's true. If I do gather these testaments, if I do find my way to him, maybe I can finally leave this wretched town and live the life I'm meant to live. Start anew someplace far, far away. This could very well be my chance for happiness. I ought to at least try. I have to go to the woodland and find out right now. That's a good idea. Ah, change to a chick, huh? Hmm.
for the woodland. Uh, I don't. Hmm. Okay, I know I'm supposed to go to the woodland, but. Best I don't wander into town. I don't want folks seeing me out here this late at night. That makes sense. Okay, some bard just had to go there. Let's see if what the old hag said is true. I have to at least give it a try. Oh. So this is the woodland? I have to find him, I have to be brave. This is a wretched place. You must be careful, this could be dangerous. Uh, so stay away from the butterflies. That thing. Now how do I draw those moths here? All I've got on me is my lantern. These moths aren't going anywhere, are they? Ow. playing any of that. This got their attention, I suppose. I better be careful moving forward. Oh, okay. Ow, dang it. I'm gonna try to go in there. What in the... Have you met the witch? She's so very eager to meet you again, would you believe? Which you say? Your paths are bound to cross before long, but I have my doubts you'll last long in the black wilderness. Wait, what in the Lord's name? Such a foul smell. Moth eaten and frayed, an old dress rests in its blood soaked grave. What is this? Oh. Treatment. Nice. Ooh, okay, I gotta walk past that, I guess. So far, isn't this bad? Matches.
Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Take it on the right. Can I jump down? Oh no, I have jumped up from up there. There's a wall. That's a block. A block. A block. Ah, here. Down. Down this mushroom. What does the mushroom do? Ah, heals. All right. I shouldn't have. Uh, maybe. What in the Lord's name? There are so many. Must find a way to distract them. I'm gonna jump down here though. Down. Down. Oh, another one. Take heed, she's taking adventures of you. Who is that creature? She goes hungry. It's you she wants. Flesh. The witch? Don't allow her to interfere with your wish. How would she interfere exactly? Wait. Her interference, she says? Empty handkerchief. A kerchief, I guess. Ooh, red. A pretty kerchief, daintily embroidered and hemmed with delicate lace. It may sell for a reasonable price. Oh. Huh. Okay. Ah, I gotta go all the way back up, though. I do that again? Oh, here. Oh. Yep. There we go. Safe because they don't want to do that thing all over again. lighting it may not be enough. Okay. Also too far away. If I could al alert them somehow or bring them with me. Yep, I gotta run in there and over myself. 
Ooh, wow, that's a lot of matches on the cow. That is off. I do not need to buy matches, apparently. Those moths are too far away to notice this flame. Okay. Looks like it'll lure them. Yo, moss. Alright, next. Ah, there we go. Aha. Cool. like a dozer of remains. I've never seen such a thing before. The pristine skeletal remains of a doe, every bone barren of kind of life. I've been spotting these scribbles scattered around. Are these people? Graved deep in the rocky surface are several familiar shapes reminiscent of human life. And let's go up right. There isn't much light here, so maybe if I draw them to this carcass... The pristine skeletal remains of a doe, its entrails alone left intact. Oops. Those are drawn to flesh. It seems I ought to lower them out of the way, but... They'll keep following me if I don't turn off my lantern. There we go. That's what they're for. Pristine skeletal remains of a doe, its entrails alone left intact. Okay. That's probably the next area. Oh, I see. It's a maze. Okay. Leave here just in case. Alright, what's up left? Another one? Jeez, I'm saying he's gonna go low. We golden maidens aren't to be sneered at. You'll understand in time, I'm certain. How'd you say that? Ah, you can't possibly think he'll give you his blessing. I was told otherwise. I was such naive. How amusing you are. I can't wait to welcome you. What an irritating character. Leather purse. Ow. Oof. Leather purse. No price. Okay, so I gotta bring them back over then. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah. There. Room. I got free healing. I'm not gonna get free sanity, though. Oh, I did. Never mind. 
I take that back. One. This. Nothing. That. Yeah. Room. Okay. Okay. Ow. Go there. Take that. More matches. Come on. Come on. Ah. Alright, whatever. They're devouring that thing, huh? Maybe they'll clear the path for me if I lure them all here, but... They'll keep following me if I don't turn off my lantern. Ah, uh, so I gotta finish it off, huh? Okay. Fine. Ow. Ow. I think I have a lot of mushrooms. Snake. Ow, dang it. Ow. There we go. Ah, uh, one to spare. a hit. You've come to me at last. Uh. Don't be frightened, Elise. Come closer. What? what in the Lord's name? You've done well to find your way into these woods. It's imperative, Elise, that you listen to me closely. He's once more trying to take you away from me, but not for long. Huh? Take this basket now. You ought to gather the gifts in it, Elise. The gifts, you say? Find your way to him deeper into this grove of mine. Only then may your wish come to fruition, my beloved. What? Where are you? I will guide you to him, Elise. You ought to trust my word. Your precious wish will be safe with me. I might find him. You, Elise, are my kin, my triumph, my beloved prodigy. What he's done to me is no matter. All I want is you. Hmm. I will allow him and his pets into my woodland once more. Ugh. I will allow him to tempt you, to toy with you. What are you? Offer the greater good, my beloved. So that we can be reunited, so that I can bear life in my womb once more. I need to get out of here. So I can retrieve what's mine. Ah, what? Did 
changed. Does that mean this changed too? Lord's name? What was that thing? Keep it together, Elise. I need to get a grip and go home to Rosemarine. Okay. Find your way home. I might be okay. Eh. Fuck. What are you doing out here? Ugh. I thought you'd be in the granary or out and about. Goodness. I don't feel so good. What is it, Flock? I don't like the way he's staring at me. But what are you... Elise. Rosemarine, what are you doing here? Fuck! I was... I was out in a walk. Just late at night? What is it, Flock? Come, let's go home, Rosemarine. I don't want to stay here a minute longer. Ah, oh, Elise, wait! <laughs> 